The government's chief medical officer, Sir Liam Donaldson, yesterday outlined a scheme that will see secondary schools carry out fitness tests on pupils to measure their stamina and fitness. The results of the bleep tests, which see children perform shuttle runs between two points at ever-decreasing time intervals, will be passed on to parents if their child fails, and they'll be warned that their child is at risk from heart disease, brittle bones, and also obesity. But do you think it's really the school's responsibility to monitor our child's health, or is it up to the parents? Well, I think once again, you know, we're expecting the schools to take over parenting again, you know. I mean, you must know as a parent if your child, and I'm not even talking about if your child's overweight, you know, if your child's of an, an, an average weight and is sitting at home all day doing no exercise, mm -hmm. you have to know that that's not healthy if they're sitting in front of a computer. So I think it's a bit, it's a bit, um... I think it's nanny a bit state. strong, it's a bit nanny state to expect the schools then to then, because really... If that's the case, then it's not really the kids that need to be informed, it's also the parents, mm. as in they need to be educated as well. Oh, and on the one hand, we say to, you know, you've got these parents going, don't you tell my child off, don't you smack my child, or don't do this with my child, but then we're expecting them to teach our children how to, you know, Yes, fit. except that I do think, as we've, and as you know, I'm not an advocate of the nanny state, but it seems to me that if it was part of, it's part of education, in the sense that we now all know that there, we need to be certain levels of fitness mm. and that we have got an obesity problem in this country and people sometimes do need somebody from the outside to say this is not working now the fact that parents appear at the school and, and proceed to beat up a teacher supposedly mm. because their child is behaving badly that is the extreme mm. and we know that it it happens and it's terrible but it does, shouldn't stop I think education or, or schools to set a level well, I think it, to teach kids how to to, to teach kids that it's important to remain fit, but I don't think actually testing them and going, oh, your child's failed no, and sending it home is going to help. The, the, the fun of it, about of it, I mean, I, I mean I'm, sort of, I'm sort of on the fence a little bit about whether it should, should be monitored or not, and I sort of agree with both of you, but I just think, I think we've taken the fun out of fitness for children. Why don't we just bring back the proper sports day, bring back the fact that there's nothing wrong in winning the egg and spoon race, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because mm, yeah, I think yeah, we've yeah, just yeah. taken all the competitive aspect out of, out, out of school. No. You can't compete and yet life is about competition. Yeah, actually, you could have dancing, for instance, in schools. Make, that's become make a it, big thing. Ma make it fun. I just don't think there's enough fun. And as I say, I just think, you know, sports day used to be not just for the children. It was a whole family event where you mm. all went and, you know, you could take your orange juice or, in my case, the champagne or whatever you wanted to take. <laughs> and just make it like a, 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 fu a fun day. And I well, think there was something exciting about Your Louis just coming up to the level where, the age where he's going to go to secondary school. Would you be happy to have his fitness monitored? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that neither of my children have, 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 had, a, have had a weight problem. Um, but but weight I just isn't necessarily to do with fitness. It's, I just want to, I suppose I wanted to be encouraged. I mean, I, mean I, I, I was dreadful at school. I was the kid who, unlike you, because I know that you love, I just hated PE. I hated PE. I hated my PE teacher. I hated the fact that in the winter I was in navy blue shorts with hypothermia while she had a sheepskin coat on. And I just couldn't get past that. Really. I couldn't get past it. The funny thing is, it's funny you should say that because I lived for PE. I hated maths and I hated my maths teacher, but I lived for PE. Mm. If I could have done PE, every single day I would have done it I loved it and um, my kids have loved PE Kira loves PE and I have to say well certainly in the schools they've been in the um, the physical education has been fantastic you know and all the after-school activities that they can do yeah, you know, there dancing is a, there's sport, a lot on you know there swimming is, that sort swimming, of all thing. of that I mean it's been brilliant I mean, no, I loved PE um, in terms of the out-of-school stuff because I used to swim and play tennis they were my mm. two sort of things but I only liked them in the summer absolutely hated oh, pee in winter I, to me i thought it was absolutely barbaric to make you stand there and there's, like you say this little skirt and a t-shirt with a hockey stick going <laughs> it's not excuse me it's not but we're all the better for it look at us we were there with a hockey stick actually i knocked my geography teacher's teeth out but not for one purpose but no the thing is that in the winter you have no no I didn't. um well maybe i don't know i can't remember i can't remember your honor um but, but seriously, hockey and the kind of sports you do in the winter, mm. you warm up. It's yeah, not that you stand there, exactly. you know, you, by the time you run around, to try and they're not all big, I wasn't with the big. Oh, but it was part of life's rich past. I had my nails now, to do. Nobody's... <laughs> Well, there you are, you see, and look well, where it got you. I girls like her at school. What? Well, I used to oh, hate just girls making, like you. Just making excuses. With your bully off. You know. <laughs> Actually, I never did. I never played hockey. Okay. Okay.